In this video, I will show you a piece of fantastic artwork made and sent by the Grid Studio. Let's get started. This video is supported by Grid Studio. Grid Studio is a company that preserves, values, restores, and unfolds the greatness of digital devices from their respective era and frames them as works of art to bring back your memories. Please visit the link in the description below and begin shopping. Before unboxing it, let me show you what Grid Studio sent along with the pack. This is a sweepstake card. You can read the info about the original iPhone made by Steve Jobs on the back of it. You can try scanning the QR code on this card and you have a chance to get a limited original iPhone in the frame. Next is the discount card. Copy and use the coupon code on this card and you will get a 15% off on your next order. And then we have the wall hooks. You know what they are. One unique thing about the package wrapping is the wax stamp and ribbon. Grid Studio made it like that to generate the feeling of preciousness and emotion about the purchased item. It is unique, and to be honest, I haven't seen anything like this before. It seems like a gift from someone that is super valuable and has a special bond with us. Without further ado, let's open this gift. I don't want to damage the packaging, so I will be super careful with it. I thought the wax stamp was just a plastic imitation, but it turned out to be a real deal. I saw other YouTubers start the wrapping widely, but if you're patient enough, you can get a sweet result as I did in this video. See, just like that, it was easy. Now let's flip this baby up. So I got the Game Boy in the frame, very cool. But wait, whoa. I think it is not supposed to be like this. It is fallen apart. Well, I think it is an easy fix. But Grid Studio, you better inspect the item before shipping it, because it could potentially damage this artwork if you open it in the air. Since it is now at all dismantled, let's inspect the elements. All you see here are real. The motherboard is genuine, and the components are valid. I mean, you are seeing a preserved Nintendo Game Boy. Most of the stuff is there, but I couldn't see the LCD screen and the battery. Maybe they discarded them for safety reasons. The concept of this artwork is straightforward. To be honest, we could make and build our Grid Studio-style digital devices in the frame like preserving the Valve Steam Deck, the Nintendo Switch, or any other devices. But do you have a will to do that? Or do you know composition? That's the thing. Looking at the structure, we can see that they placed the components on the board using hot glue. The white background is I think a sheet of thick printed matte paper. And now we will assemble this artwork and refer to its original state. First, we take the frame and the plexiglass, add the spacer, place the artwork, and finally, we will lock it down. And we come to the most satisfying moment in this video, removing the plexiglass cover. There we go, we are now ready to hang this work of art on a wall. Thanks for watching this short unboxing and review video, I hope you enjoyed it. 